What does it mean? I've been having this dream for a few days now. It matches exactly what you wrote me. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. I could really use some of your wisdom right now. Is she all right? It's been 13 weeks now. She's still not over getting dying. He was like a father to her. Must have been really hard. But it is. She was right there when Shadow... She was so traumatized by what she saw. She can't remember certain things, especially about her powers. I can't imagine what she's going through, but that does explain the flying light bulb. Yeah. Listen, I might go and talk to her. Thank you so much for coming, but I need to do this alone. It's fine. I know he meant a lot to you too. found out. And what do you think she did when he betrayed them? She left Shadow, Shahor. the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. on a lampstand and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And glorify your Father in heaven. Geddon, I don't understand. I wish you were here to guide me. I don't know what I should do. What does it say? It's you. Remember the knoll and prepare your light before the dark. 
Shine your light before it's too late. And you don't know what it means? I don't even know why I have these powers. Why me? Why do I need to do this? It's all right. Well, it's obvious I have a purpose for this light, but I don't remember what that is. And I don't know what to do with it. You will remember. Just believe in the light whilst you still have it. See if we still have that necklace again and got both of us. Why'd you tuck it away? I want to keep it safe. It means a lot. I have something to tell you. I went to go see Shadow. Well, if it isn't Little Miss Sunshine, the daughter of the light, up <gasps> for them. You've come to finish me off! You left me in that hellhole for God knows how long. I know you have come so I can kill you. I'm not here to fight you. I just want to talk. I need to get my memory back. I am not who I once was. Gendon saw that at first hand. You just let me know when you're ready to talk. You think it's that easy? You think you can just stroll in? You need to do something unspeakable. Something unnatural. When you go in, you have to pass by all the goodness inside of you. Put down your faith. Lay down your hopes. And let go of all connection to this world. Your humanly senses are cut off. The once sweet smell of victory will become the smell of fear. The touch of kindness to the hand of deception. The sounds of wisdom to the words of deceit. And the taste of glory the taste of foul. And finally, take that light that's inside of you and allow it to go dim, allowing darkness to surround you. That's the only way in. Wow. Lumina, I know you're desperate. But he wasn't just after Geddon, he wants you dead too. What else was I supposed to do? He's the only one I could go to. I know, but he can't be trusted. He told me, didn't he? At what cost? I'm scared of what's to come. And if I'm not ready, then- You will be. I don't like it. But I believe in you. Geddon believes in you. Whatever decision you make, it's meant to be. This is the letter he gave me before he died. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father in heaven. <laughs> 